Welcome aboard, you groovy people. Tragedy, a food desert driving tour of West Knoxville. Now, over the past couple of years, I've been hearing, wow, look at Alaska. It's one giant food desert. Over the past couple of years, I've been hearing about this food desert business from First Lady, Mayor of Knoxville, other politicians, and I decided to check out just exactly what it was. I uh, went to the United States Department of Agriculture, found their Food Desert Atlas, and uh, zooming in on one in West Knoxville right there. Uh, switched to Google to give you a better view of what we have, and what do I find? The Lucky Asian Mart. Uh, this is an Asian food store. Uh, has plenty of fresh foods and veg fresh vegetables, all kinds of big, groovy, healthy food. And uh, so I decided to check out the area a little bit more. And uh, back to the map, to zooming in on what the, almost the middle of the, what the USDA is calling a food desert. And uh, found another store that sells food. Yep, that's right, Target. Target has a uh, grocery. Not quite as good as uh, as Walmart, but uh, but it's it's decently stocked. Um, scrolling on in here, not overly crowded store. Oh, look at these starving people in West Knoxville, you know, stuck in the food desert. And, oh, well, here's the, uh, here's the grocery area. Used to be electronics over on this end. They moved that, um, that to roughly the same place you'll find it in a Walmart. Back of the store center. But, uh, let's explore the, um, let's explore this, uh, Oasis in the food desert. Uh, plenty of fresh vegetables, fresh fruit here. I did not notice any arugula, but if you guys catch it in a frame somewhere, uh, it's good to know. Um, ladies shopping in the uh, cooler section. Uh, actually, I'm looking for some Vlasic pickles. I just really enjoy the Vlasic brand of pickle. And, uh, Found the olive oil over here. Looks like they have a good variety of that. Basic variety. You know, all that Pam stuff. I never use it. But uh, looks like some of the olive oil just flew right off the shelves. And somebody else doesn't know where to put back uh, the uh, instant noodles where they found them. And... Continuing to search for the Vlasic Pickles. I am just not having any luck finding Vlasic Pickles. All kinds of condiments here. Mm -hmm. Frozen food area. Let's try another aisle. Mm -hmm. Ah, pickles and olives and no Vlasic brand. Looks like Target does not carry the Vlasic brand. Guess I'll have to go to to uh, the Walmart Superstore, which uh, turns out to be located in yet another food desert. Uh, it's a slightly lower um, category of food desert. The uh, food desert I'm exploring here meets the original USDA definition of a food desert. Um, the uh, the next one west of here is on the opposite side of the interstate. Uh, there's a nice, healthy young lady shopping around and shopping around. And, uh, looks like the milk flew off the shelves here. Um, anyway, the um, the Target, the uh, I'm sorry, the uh, Walmart Superstore uh, is anchors another food desert close to here. It's under one of the newer definitions on distance and variety, some jazz. So let's zoom in here and see if there's any more variety in this horrible food desert. 
people dropping like flies can't find a, a morsel to eat unless they you know go to Wendy's or something. Um, oh well, maybe just the government can't find anything to eat here because here's a supermarket and uh, plenty of good healthy scrumptious Hispanic foods to choose from there, and they actually make hot food there too. So uh, it's like a restaurant and a grocery. I read in one of the papers that they have a very good taco there. Now let's check out, see if there's anything else around here. Uh, this, we are zooming in on the location of the India market. So, you know, there's even something here for uh, uh, rich white leftists, uh, the India market. Um, uh, plenty of fish and seafood and such, and also plenty of uh, vegetarian uh things to choose from at both Hispanic and Indian markets and back at the Asian market that we kicked this off with. So uh, let's take a look here, zooming in on Trader Joe's. This Trader Joe's was featured in a, uh, a Gwen Reynolds Instapundent post about this topic and uh, gee whiz, rich white liberals have nothing to, to uh, want for here. I don't know why it's a food desert. 